Surprise, motherfucker. Okay, demolition's pretty much complete. Oh boy, was this a project. There's a lot, a lot of weather rot and season rot. I mean, it's 1969, so obviously it kind of withstood the test of time, but not too much. But this thing was fairly simple for me to demolish. I mean, I had nothing more than a hammer and a pry bar, and I had the bitch kicked in probably two hours. Maybe less? I don't know. I'm kind of a big guy, so it's like a bulldozer type of thing. But there is a lot of weather rot, because obviously these things come apart at the seams, which I did not know, right there in the corner. So I'm going to have to go ahead and get a saw, a jigsaw, or I'll probably just use a hammer and pry bar again and chunk it out and take out the weather rot. But i got to let this thing dry out before I start adding new wood to it, because there's a huge difference between moldy rotten wood and wet wood. And the difference is whether it's salvageable or not, as most of you probably know. I've never done a remodel of something this small in these close quarters. Now there's a guy on here, uh, he's got a name that sounds like a RC Jets or something or other like that. You know, it's called the Ultimate Camper Rebuild. And uh, he just used 2x4s to go ahead and rebuild his shit. And I can see why. Because they're probably the most durable thing you can use. So I'm going to start with some paneling and some 2x4s. And a hell of a lot of spray foam, too. I'm definitely going to have to get some uh, mold cover-up and probably some latex paint or something to seal this up, too, because not everything I'll be able to take out without ruining the structural integrity of this thing and having to reskin this entire fucking wall. But for the most part, I do believe I can go ahead and chisel out the worst of the rot and replace it with some 2x4s and a bit of 2x6s and everything. It's just working the saw in close quarters and hopefully drilling out these screws because if they don't drill out, then God, I've taken out the insulation, I'll probably just go ahead and bring a grinder in here and saw out the worst part of the screws. Because the screws themselves aren't put together in any form of a design or pattern. If you look closely, the screws in the corner, I mean, they're striated like every three, four inches, and that's it. A screw every four inches isn't going to be enough to actually hold this thing together. But I definitely see a lot of spray foam, a lot of two-by-fours. A lot of screws and a lot of mold cover up in my future, that's for damn sure. But at least I had some parts that weren't horrible, that weren't rotten, with fresh wood and everything. So when I'm done with this thing, will it be completely insulated? Yes. Uh, will it be uh, completely ventilated? Yeah, probably. Will it be 100% mold free? No, I'd say about 90%. But the worst of it will be nothing that will go ahead and get to my nostrils, I'm pretty sure. But uh, yeah, so uh, this is probably a two day task alone. Just going ahead and piecing this bitch back together at the seams. And. replacing the rot and sawing out the rot. But I mean, I have the building materials and I have the tools. I definitely have the time. That's one of the things about me. I'm kind of anal compulsive in the fact that when I want to start a project, I'll save up a bunch of money and I'll get all the materials gathered beforehand. And then when I go at it, I don't stop for a good three or four days until that shit is done. And this is the pile I now have to load into the back of my truck to take to the dump. I'd burn it, but one of the neighbors would probably bitch about the insulation. Oh, he's ruining the ozone! Not that a field full of cows taking one giant fart would do any worse. Look at the dog, look at the dog. Woo. All right, I'll keep you updated.